let's look again at attaching an ellipse. So if I have a constrained or a, a construction circle, I can simply attach another circle to it, a graphical circle to it. So again, as we modify the, the construction below, the attached circle, which is on our primary layer, remains attached as we make adjustments. The next three tools don't actually work exactly the same way. These ones really do attach elements. The first three, you might have noticed, actually constructed elements for us, while the last three attach elements. That, that line was constructed for us, as was the arc, as was the circle. But these ones will attach. So let's take a line. and constrain it and I'm going to add a point constrain that to the line and now I'm going to attach to point so I want to attach something to that point let's see um, I could attach a cell or I could attach a piece of text nominal text. If you're using MicroStation XM, this can be a field, which will be very useful. I want to attach that text to that point. And now as I move, as the constraint gets modified, it always remains attached to that point, which is very, very convenient. Some very nice work can be done by using this. Text gets moved around design files and keeps your presentation in, in good order without having to do anything, without having to adjust anything, just simply by changing the dimensions on, a, on a, a file, all the text can follow along as well. It's very, very nice. The next one is attach and align. So I'm just going to delete this one and show the same process again. This time I'm going to attach and align. So identify element, that's our text. Identify point, and now identify line or ellipse because they both have directional values in them. And accept, and now it is also aligned to that line. So it just does a little bit more work than the first example. Let's modify that and show how it works. Very nice. I'm just going to show one extra little thing here. It might come in useful. If we go to Tools, B Spline Curves, Modify Curves, we go to Change Element Direction and change the direction of this construction. Now reevaluate our equation. You can see the, the text has now gone upside down and facing the other way. So that shows that our, our linear constructions, our directional constructions, have got a direction. Of course, that direction has already been indicated by our geometric constraints, so we could, we could see that already. But just to show that when you do it with text, the text will follow that direction. If I turn off my constructions, Oh, here's something that actually hasn't come up yet at all. So I better talk about it now. This question mark. MicroStation draws a question mark when a point is not properly constrained. It's not well defined. So it, the only way to get rid of it is to make sure your points are well defined. And it comes up as a primary element. And even if I change it to a construction element and it disappears, as soon as we reevaluate our solution, it goes back to a primary element. So they can be quite pesky little things. And the only way you really need to get rid of them is to make sure your, your points are well defined. And 
And now we'll have no problems with that. Let's see. Modify. We can move that around. It's working in the background. Still doing the same job, just haven't got a question mark to worry about anymore. And that's changed this fella back to construction as well. Another pesky little fella. Okay, so that's attach and attach in the line. <coughs> I suppose we can go quickly through this last icon here, attach pen elements. I, I'd say I don't use pen elements, but I'm sure plenty of people do. So where are they? I believe these are them. These are those. Uh, let's scroll something out and attach that. So I select the pen element, select a point or a const uh, constraint and attach. And there you go. That has been attached to that line. If I delete that constraint there and reevaluate, let's see how that works. The text remains aligned, but the pen element doesn't. So it only attaches the point, it doesn't attach and align. And that's not very pretty. <laughs> So there we go. Okay.